police department. He says job one is to find a pattern. Commonalities of victims, locations, anything where you might be able to see where there is something that you can kind of home in on. That pattern started to emerge with cases like Jenny Bowers. Just like Tom, she heard that telltale noise. It sounded like a giant rock. The bullet dislodged and rolled down into the, the door panel. Like the other victims, this mother of two did not see the shooter. But some eyewitnesses say they saw a green Dodge Neon lurking in the next lane. Police described the behavior as pacing, like he would pace and, and loiter in their blind spot so he could see them and get his plan together. That's when he's made his decisions, where he gets the gun ready. And after the shots are fired, the gunman uses a low-tech but ingenious getaway plan. In many cases, there was also near an exit plan, right? Yes, the victim said, I was committed to the ring. And so I can't very well slow down and maybe chase you because I'm committed to the ring. That's how the next pattern emerges. Well, most of these cases did occur in a pretty similar geographic area in Kansas City. It used to be called the Grandview Triangle. The Grandview Triangle, a twisted pretzel of a roadway with on-ramps and exits galore. A perfect spot for the shooter to play his deadly game. And now the city is on the edge of death. Um, there was a lot of fear. I mean, there was people that they wouldn't go through the Grandview Triangle. They would take alternate routes. When you find out that it was not isolated, that they were part of the pattern, mm -hmm. what is that like? Then it was a little scarier, because I, I remember the days of the D.C. Sniper. Could this be a copycat of the D.C. Sniper?